Let me go to uh, J.P. Decker. J.P. is um, uh, w- with us. He's been with me forever. He's the Mercury One Executive Director now. Uh, and it is the one-year anniversary of the wildfire uh, in Lahaina. And I think we're one of the only major charities that is still there. I could be wrong. Uh, J.P., welcome to the program. Hey, thanks, Glenn. It's good to be on. Yeah. Um, so you're not over in Hawaii now, are you? I am right now. We are here for the memorial today. You are. You are. Tell me what is happening um, with Mercury One. Just give us an update on what has happened in Lahaina and what we've been doing there for the last year. Yeah. So we've been providing a mental health because uh, there, there's been a mental health crisis of multiple suicides. Most people still feel uncertain. I was speaking with uh, many people yesterday as soon as I landed, and they're uncertain about their housing still, and they're uncertain about what the jobs. Uh, about 72% of all people in, the Wai- in Maui were affected by these fires. 59% say, said they have moved over three times. Mercury One, like you said, is one, if not the only, uh, nonprofit that is still here helping. Uh, we have provided uh, sports for a nonprofit who ran out of funds and sports for kids because these kids can't, a lot of the kids can't even come into Lahaina without crying and screaming because of what they saw that day one year ago. Um, we, have, we have been able to be a beacon of hope for these people. Um, we have also worked with a nonprofit who has built a whole community for the survivors. What's crazy about this is that they're ready for hundreds of these survivors to come live temporarily until their homes can be rebuilt. But the governor and the mayor continue to fight with each other on who's going to get the credit for wherever they're going to put these survivors. Oh gosh. And so they're not allowing these Jeez. people to move to this nonprofit yet. There's about 30, 30 So wait, 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 are these, the, there now. are these the tiny homes we've helped build? Yes. These are some of the tiny homes that we have helped build with churches all across the island. And that's, that's what we were doing. That's, that's some of the work that we've been doing just over the past year. Um, uh, thank you so much. I saw some of the, uh, stats on what has been done, um, just in Lahaina. And I know we've been all over the world. Um, and it's, it's stunning, uh, funded a DC eight aircraft, 17 tons of relief supplies on board, including solar lights, hygiene kits, uh, following uh, the DC eight, uh, airlift to the Island Samaritans purse teams, uh, sifted through the ashes, cutting the burned trees and uh, ministered to homeowners. Uh, teams work with providing survivors with connectivity uh, in common spaces of the hotels. This was all last year. 25,000 meals were given out through our uh, mm-hmm. uh, one of our charities that we fund, Operation Barbecue Relief. Operation Blessing was there um, to get people clothing and tarps and and all of that stuff. We've been doing a lot of stuff with Harvest Church, which is right there in the community, um, yep. and you know, help shelter people and and make sure they're doing things. I love the thing that we're doing with the uh, kids, giving them a chance to play sports because they they don't they're not doing it yeah. now, and, uh, and, and they ran out of money. And go ahead. And so many of so many of these people feel left by the, by our government. They feel left alone. They feel as if no one's talking about them anymore. 102 people were killed last year, Americans. And we have, the Mercury One has not, but our government has forgotten about them. Uh, a lot of them are asking, you know, where where's Oprah and The Rock? Where are those funds? Where are the funds to help us rebuild? And the governor even said yesterday, well, I know that you like Front Street, which is, you know, historical in Lahaina, but you have to mm-hmm. remember that climate change is taking Front Street away. So things will change and a little, it'll look different. How do you say Jeez. that on the one-year anniversary? What kind of a leader are you? These people are trying to find hope. Out of the 11,000 that lived there and were displaced, there's only about 3,000 left because they've had to move to find jobs. And so Mercury One is here. And like when we started Mercury One, when you started Mercury One, we want to be the first in and the last out. And that's what we're doing. And that's why we're here today is we're praying with everyone, all the partners. We're praying and trying to bring that hope that we've brought to Israel, that we have brought to Afghanistan, that we've brought to all the United States with through our disaster relief. And that that's what we do. That's who Mercury One is. And that's we still need help because, you know, obviously this is going to be a long process. It's going to be years and we have to continue to be here. 
Thank you very much. I know that we're, you know, first in, last out in Afghanistan. We hope to be getting the last people out this year. That's our goal. We mm-hmm. are still doing that in Afghanistan. MercuryOne.org. JP, thank you so much. God bless to you and, and everybody in Lahaina on this one-year anniversary. Uh, okay. Hmm. okay. Thank you, JP.